Uh, Sunday I slept really well. Uh, Monday did not. So we'll see. But last night wasn't too bad. Uh, shortly after the injury, uh, I could just tell by his reaction that it was something pretty significant. Uh, then, uh, then he started to swell up pretty good uh, within a matter of minutes. So, and, uh, obviously, his body's really protecting itself. So, uh, he had quite a bit of swelling. They treated it uh, several times. They had plenty of time on the flight to treat it, put him in a boot for cautionary reasons. He um, says he's you know, progressing better than he thought as of this morning. And I know it's going to be some time before we get him back into live action, but he seems to be in good spirits and uh, we'll hopefully on the right track. When you say they treated him multiple times, that was icing or? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've got all the blue bells and whistles, icing, um, and, you know, electric stem, the uh, circulation, uh, boots and pads they have. Um, you know, on a long flight like that, you really have to make sure that you stay on top of it so you don't. Uh, who does this open the door for? Uh, well, you know, Danny will be working his way back in, but it's minutes for uh, for Johnny, minutes for Will. Uh, you know, Brad's going to play his, his normal his normal minutes, but uh, Corey at the three, two, two, three, however you want to look at it, uh, we have bodies to fill that spot. Is Johnny, by the time the season starts, will Johnny be ready to play um, minutes in a in both games had on the It's tough for me to say right now. I hope so. Um, I think just an opportunity for him uh, to kind of step into a role. Uh, we talked about it preseason, you know, the way our depth is, is, is laid out. Uh, it's, it's tough to kind of pencil in a lot of minutes for a young player right now. Uh, so he's going to have opportunity, and hopefully he takes full up advantage of that opportunity, much like the way Corey did last year. I know he played to him, but how, other than that, how has he looked? How did he look in those two Well, you know, he, he struggled. Honestly, it's, I'm not surprised because I put him in a point guard's position and he's never played. And I did that intentionally to see how he would handle it. And, uh, you know, the, the group, not, not just himself, but uh, you are playing with three bigs out there. It's, it's not an ideal pairing. Uh, so it, it, it was a uh, touch and go which I expected. So, and I told him. I said, I put you in a dis disadvantaged position, and I wanted to see how you would do. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about the result. I've seen, uh, I've seen, I've seen him play well in different stretches. I've seen him have great practices. So, I'm not overreacting to you know, that window, that seven minute window. Uh, it's just kind of a, an opportunity for me to put him in a tough spot and see how he responds. Is Denny making progress? Denny is making progress. He's a uh, partial participant today. Uh, still, you know, uh, in a ramp up phase. Uh, uh, doubtful, in my opinion, right now for uh, Charlotte and hopefully for uh, the last few seasons. In the partial, did he do anything live or? No, no, no. It was just the, uh, the, the drill stuff and the shooting. Uh, we were able to get up and down quite a bit today, but none of the competitors. So. Do you expect that he would be able to do live stuff in the next two, three practices? I, I hope so. I honestly don't know at this point. We'll see how he responds, but I anticipate as he ramps up, we're going to be a little bit more each day. On Corey, did he get any MRI or did you guys do a lot of high ankle sprain? Yeah, or? he did it all. Uh, he did MRI, x-ray, the whole nine, and, and he pretty much checked out as a, as a sprain. Uh, I'm not going to give it a medical diagnosis, but uh, it's pretty significant in my opinion. Uh, so I think it's just more get the swelling down and we'll see how we can uh, ramp him back up. As he kind of goes through two more, will be around the track and swelling at all? Or he kind of no, no, he'll be around. Yeah, yeah, he'll do it here. Um, I think it's you know more this, this being training camp as we continue to implement. Uh, he won't be a part of the drills, but just kind of watch and the, the learning and the teaching part. Um, and then he can get his therapist treatments behind some of the you know, parts of practice. How's that been marching for time here? Oh, it's great. You know, it's uh, a great opportunity for a guy. You know, we, we want to encourage all uh, alumni to be around. Uh, he had a 15-year career, so uh, the guy's played for multiple teams, but you know, he's had an opportunity to play here for quite some time. Uh, obviously, him and Brad have a connection. They played together. Some of the coaching staff has been around him. And, uh, he can impart quite a bit to our young guys, to our bigs. 
So to have him around for, you know, as long as he wants to stay, I'm, I'm, I love it. So I think it'll be at least a week, but uh, we're going to take full advantage of it. Uh, this year. Yes, he was obviously a guy that was one of the best screen centers. Is that something right away he can teach you to do? Yeah, I think so. It's just the timing, the angle. Uh, and there, there's so many nuanced things. That the game's within a game. And as a young player to pick up, but he, he certainly has all the tricks. He can impart any of that on a I, I think he was he was solid. He wasn't great, and none of us were. So uh, that's not indictment on him. Uh, I think the three things that really st stood out to me: defensive rebound, uh, an area of concentration, transition defense, and then the one-on-one. -on -one. That's, that's one thing that we kind of get lost over. We look at you know, schematically what teams are doing. What are teams doing analytically? The game is played, you know, and it cracks the, the scheme. Now what? You got to be able to sit down and guard your guy. Uh, you know, trust your help, not rely on it, and then you know, go from there. But that's that's where the game is. That's where both sides. Are. When you talk about defense, so three areas: team one, team one, team one. Yes. Uh, Concept communication. We talked about that a lot. It's better. It's better. It's not. It's not perfect. Some of that is we've changed, you know, some of our, our, our calls. So there's still that. But as far as our overall willingness to communicate, I think it's much better. Did you like that three? Yeah, you know, it's just something that we talked about of playing big. Uh, and I think both guys, you know, whether they're three, four, four, three, Kuz uh, has that versatility. Uh, at times it played out last season. But to see it, you know, kind of in a starting role was a little different. So we're still you know, kind of looking through that. With no Denny, uh, Corey's down, so it still gives us an opportunity to play with some lineups. Uh, with, you know, games three and four, we want to make sure we're getting at least our minute threshold up to where we need to be leading into uh, the October. Do you feel a little bit more comfortable with that with your guard personnel this year just being better than us? Uh, to an extent, I think, you know, just, you know, especially